I think it's one of the few cases where there is an expert report that says it wasn't them, but instead uh, it, the court chooses to listen and to give credit to rumours. Um, and in a way this is not a surprise because they have always been uh, considered the murderers. I never say that people are being persecuted and I respect the verdict. I will never say that uh, my um, um, client has been persecuted, but there are uh, mistakes. There are, uh, this is part of, uh, of the judicial history, so they have to be corrected. Have you already spoken with Rafaele? Not yet, because we have only um, heard the verdict a few uh, minutes ago. Uh, we will certainly have a chat with him. Obviously, he was prepared for any outcome. It has been a very long ordeal. Uh, so uh, there have been uh, acquittals, uh, there have been convictions. So he is totally astonished uh, why a uh, good court keeps changing their mind in this way. For those that, like me, are convinced of, uh, uh, that Amanda is innocent, um, it's a, a very difficult time. We have to respect this verdict, but we can challenge them. And we will follow the required procedure. We've spoken with Amanda. We're very sad at the moment. What did she say? Um, she didn't say anything. We're, the line went dead. Uh, uh, um, uh, we, um, there is still a very narrow road uh, that we can walk and we will definitely try everything. This is not the final word.